Google of the word inspection, and we find that it is defined in one way as careful examination or scrutiny. In chapters 4 and 5 of the book Zero Quality Control, Source Inspection and the Poke Oak System, Shigeo Shingo describes three different types of inspection. Judgment inspections, informative inspections, and the method used in the ZQC system, Source Inspections. Judgment inspections compare products and information to a standard. If the product or information conforms to the standard, it is good. If it does not, it is bad. Judgment inspections are a great way to catch inspections before products and information leave a facility to go to a customer. Essentially, judgment inspections separate good parts from bad parts based on specific criteria. So, what's the issue? Because standards are generally written for complete products and information or at specific stages of production, the inspection usually does not occur until the parts or information are complete. This means that if there is a defect found, it is likely that it occurred upstream in the process and not only is there no way of preventing it, you may never discover the information you need to identify where the actual issue occurred. Judgment inspections are considered to be a traditional inspection. Informative inspections are a bit different than traditional judgment inspection. Still considered to be part of the traditional inspection group, there are three types of inspections that Dr. Shingo outlines. Statistical quality control, successive check of each product and self check of each product. Statistical quality control uses various statistical techniques to determine whether or not the materials or information being produced are acceptable. SQC does this by checking sample lot sizes after they are done processing. While this may provide feedback a little quicker than judgment inspection, it only checks a sample of what is being produced. With that being said, it does not ensure that 100% of processing is good. Another traditional form of informative inspection is successive checks. Successive checks are a form of inspection which allow people in the process downstream to inspect a unit or information that has been moved on to them from somebody upstream. This gives people all throughout the value stream the ability to catch defects and provide feedback. Like SQC, successive checks do not prevent defects, they catch them and provide information about the defect. The final form of informative inspection is the self-check of materials and or information. Self-checks give people the opportunity to check or inspect their own work. This allows them to catch defects immediately before passing items downstream. With that being said, self-checks will give the operator feedback immediately if a defect were to occur. However, like the other forms of inspection, self-checks do not prevent defects from occurring nor do they prevent natural human mistakes from happening. Of the three informative inspection methods, self-check of each product provides the quickest flow of feedback and information. The one major discrepancy with the self-check method is that as humans, we are bound to miss some of our own mistakes. As you can see, all three forms of informative inspection are indeed superior to the traditional judgment inspection. Informative provides feedback and collects information that can later be used to improve the process. However, it should be noted that all three forms of informative inspection catches the defect and does not prevent the defect. Preventing the defect from ever occurring is the goal and this can only occur using source inspection. Source inspection inspects products and information at the source. This is quite different from the judgment inspection and informative inspection methods. 
Dr. Shingo teaches in his book, Zero Quality Control, Source Inspection and the Pokey Oak System, that source inspection accomplishes two critical components in any effort to achieve zero defects. It catches errors and it provides feedback regarding those errors. These two components are critical in achieving zero defects as they give you the ability to catch errors before they turn to defects. Source inspection works in different ways to integrate the check and do stages of the traditional inspection model. It does this by using different methods to control the do phase. For example, when you enter information into a form and submit it, if you do not enter a piece of required information, the form will not allow you to submit the information. In addition, the form will oftentimes scroll to or tell you what you need to do to successfully complete the process. This do phase is stopped and provides information and guidelines at the source to successfully complete the form. In addition, you will notice that the form cannot be processed or submitted until it has all the required information and is done correctly. Another way that source inspection may work is by stopping a machine or line when a part is not set correctly. It may also trigger a warning light if a machine is not running correctly or send a message to the operator when something is not working correctly. Source inspection is very effective when combined with the other three elements of the ZQC system. 100% inspection, short feedback loops, and quicker action, in addition, polka yoke. We will look at these three elements in the following lectures.